What's up guys and welcome to Myth Busting Mondays episode 77. Yes dudes, this is the show where we bust the myths that you guys leave in the comment section below. So if you guys haven't already done it, make sure you do drop a myth inside the comment section right now or at the end of the video and we'll see which ones get featured next week. Once again this week guys, we've got some amazing myths that have been sent in so you guys should really expect an awesome episode today. Last week you guys absolutely smashed the likes with 4,500. Let's absolutely smash it right now dude if you do want more myth busting mondays in the future and once again dudes thank you so much for watching and let's get on to the first myth of today's show so the first myth of today's show dudes has been sent in by alka and he says myth Unburied, can you get trapped in Leroy's cage? Now, if you guys don't know, Unburied, it was the third map pack from Black Ops 2, and there was also this cool, awesome character called Leroy that was inside the map as well. Now, this guy goes around the map and helps you out with certain things, like unlocking doors for you and also opening up the perk location. But this guy also runs back to his cage and locks himself in and you have to go and find yourself a new key to be able to actually get him out if you ever accidentally shoot him while you're trying to shoot zombies. So we can get super, super frustrating, but if we take this method into consideration, is there a chance that we're going to be able to lock ourselves into his cage at the same time? Let's check it out, dudes. So right now, guys, we are on the map buried and we are going to do this myth right now. So let's shoot Leroy and he's going to be heading back to the cage right now as well. Now, once we get into the cage with Leroy, he won't shut the door. The game doesn't allow him to do that unless you exit the cage. But the way we're going to get around this is by placing down the time bomb inside of the cage that is a tactical grenade inside of buried and then exiting the cage. He should shut the door and then I'm hoping that we teleport back to the cage and we are literally locked in here and we can't do anything else for the rest of the game. So let's check it out, dudes. The time bomb's now down. Let's exit the room. He should shut the door. There we go. And let's turn back time, dudes. And let's see what is going to happen. So here we go. Let's do it in three, two, one. What's going to happen? Dude? Yes, dudes. We are literally inside of Leroy's cage right now. Fully trapped in here. So yeah, dudes, you can 100% do this. Now, the only problem is I don't think we can get out. And I think that literally is the end of the game for this game because I can't do anything. And also, zombies don't seem to be uh, spawning either. So kind of a rip, but also the myth is possible. So maybe if you want to troll your friends or something like that, this myth would be awesome. But Alka, thank you so much for sending that in, dude. And let's get on to the next myth of today's show. So the next myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by Azriel Bremer 9 And they say myth. In Origins, if you release the Maxis drone and down yourself without quick revive, will Maxis keep the game from ending by reviving you or will it end? And it's got a whopping 61 likes, dude. So thank you so much for sending that in. And we know that on Shadows of Evil, we can do this with the Civil Protector. So why not on Origins? Let's check it out, dudes. So we're going to make this super, super simple for ourselves. We're going to release the Maxis drone and cook a grenade. As soon as we cut the grenade and it blows up, we should go down and we'll find out Will Max's Revivers? Because we don't have Quick Revive right now. So, dudes, are you ready? Let's check it out. Max's drone is going up. Let's hold down our grenade. Let's see what happens. One, two, three, four. Ah, no, dudes. Max's drone will not revive you if you don't have Quick Revive. The game over sign will come up and you'll end up being forced out of the game. But anyway, thank you so much for sending that myth in. And we're going to jump straight to the next one right now, which is being sent in by Ethan Plays. And he says, Myth, when you put this shield down in the robot's head, can you use it to guard you from leaving the head? Wow, dude, this is going to be interesting. So this myth also takes place on Origins. And you guys know that when you go into the robots, you get a countdown, right? So around 15 seconds you're allowed to have inside of that robot. And once that 15 seconds is up, you get ejected. It literally forces you out of that robot by sucking you up and shooting you straight out. But what happens if we place the shield down inside of the robot's head and we sit behind the shield? Can we use it as protection and will it stop us from being forced out of the robot's head? Let's check it out, dudes. So once again, guys, we are on Origins and the robot is currently running right towards us. So let's get up these stairs. Let's get over to it and let's get inside this robot right about now. Come on, we got this. We got this. Hopefully it's the right foot. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, we're inside the robot right now, dudes. And we've got our shield with us as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the middle of the robot or as far back as we can get it. And we are going to place that shield down now oh dude it's red so let's try and take it into the middle are we good are we good okay we're good there right in the center that is literally as far forward as we can be now if we stand in front of the shield right here will it stop us from ejecting this is going to be super interesting dude so we have officially got four seconds left three two one what's going to happen dudes what's going to happen 
Oh no, dude. <laughs> we went straight through the shield. So I'll replay that again for you guys right now while I'm talking as well. So check it out. We literally went straight through it. We no clipped through the shield. It didn't class it as an object at all that we couldn't pass through. So it's a little bit annoying, but there you go. So no, the shield cannot protect you from exiting that robot dudes but that is it for that myth let's get on to the next one of today's show dudes which has been sent in by egotistical youtuber and he says if you have no weapons on buried can you write the weapons on the wall now you guys know that on buried we have these chalk drawings on the wall that we can go and pick up once you pick it up you get a chalk inventory and then you can go and place it on the wall where we get question marks and literally draw out your own weapon so to do egotistical youtubers myth we're gonna have to go and pack a punch both of our weapons and then safely get back to the normal buried map pick up one of these chalks and then go and make it let's see if we can actually do it dudes so right now guys we have officially pack a punch both of our weapons and i don't have anything in my inventory anymore luckily right now as well we do have the the booze so i'm gonna be able to give it to leroy he'll break down this door and make it super more easy for us to actually enter the room where the chalk drawings are so he's gonna break that right about now boom there we go let's go and pick up oh, which one should i get let's go with the pdw boom pdw is right there let's go make our way over to our final chalk drawing which is at the top of the saloon this is the only free space left i've got on the map and let's go and see if we can do this also yeah i know it's pretty weird that i've only got bullet trade but it's just because the witches gave it to me and i haven't had time to buy any other person so here we go dudes let's see if we can draw still yes dudes there you go so you can still draw on the wall when you don't have any weapons and of course i can still buy the weapon as well even though i don't have any others so there you go egotistical i don't know why that would help you out in a game at all but at least you know you can do it dude thank you for sending that in and let's get on to the next myth of today's show so the next myth of today's show guys is being sent in by chris bob and he says myth on origins can you use the regular knife on the white handed zombies now i've always thought about this and i've always thought yo did we actually need them was that upgrade to the punch actually necessary for this easter egg step or are we just using them because we normally get up to this step on like round 15 16 17 and the zombies are too difficult to actually knife with a normal knife i've always thought that but I've never actually tried it out. So let's go check out this, dude. So right now, guys, we are on Origins and we are up to that part of the Easter egg where we get the white-handed zombies coming into the maps. Now, we've also got the Regal Mark II and the MP40, but we do not have our upgraded punch. We have not gone and got the Thunder Fist at all, and we have literally just got the normal knife on the map right now. So, let's wait until we get some white-handed zombies spawning into the map, and then we'll just instantly knife them normally and see if this still works. So, let's check it out, dudes. Okay, here we go. We have got our first white-handed zombie. Let's check it out. No, dude. So, yeah, all this time, we did actually need the fist. I know this was a little bit of a stupid myth because everyone knows you need that for this Easter egg step. But I think that no one's actually probably tried it with the normal ones anyway. So, there you go. No, you can't do it with a normal knife. You do need the Thunder Fist to do this Easter egg step, dude. So, let's get on to the next myth of today's show, which is being sent in by Brustas. And he says, can you down inside the robots in Origins? If so, what happens when you get ejected from the robot? Keep up the good work and then pizza emojis thank you so much for doing that dudes and let's go check this out can we down ourselves in the robot in origins and will it eject us i have no idea let's go check it out so dudes right now we are inside the robot on origins i'm just waiting for the countdown to start and for the timer to stop so we can down ourselves and before we actually revive ourselves with our quick revive we do manage to get ejected and we can see what's gonna happen so here we go dudes let's check this out out okay so we're cooking the grenade right now dudes we are about to blow up and boom we're down are we gonna get ejected? well we are getting ejected and you know what it looks like we were actually revived as well let's just check it out when we get down here are we gonna be revived yes dudes okay so you cannot exit the robot while you are down it literally revives you very very quickly i mean there's not a lot of sense in this because you can never get down inside the robot unless you do exactly what i just did which would be completely stupid but at least you know you can't get ejected from the robot when you are down it instantly revives you so thank you for sending that one in and let's get on to the next myth of today's show which is being sent in by wizard hobo and he says code name pizza myth if you place down the shield will it break when the robots step on it so i don't know honestly i have no idea dudes i mean the robots are ridiculously big i also think that their foot will just go straight through the shield i honestly don't know let's check this out really really quickly dudes before we get on to the last myth of today's show so let's check it out so this is a super super simple one we've got our shield i'm gonna place it down where the robot is going to be stepping and then once the robot comes over hopefully 
Hopefully it'll stand on it and we can see if it's going to break or it's not going to break. Like I said in the last episode, no one really uses this anyway, but let's check it out. Boom! The robot's on it and... Uh, it's... Oh, there you go. So the shield still exists. And exactly what I was saying before the robot came along, no one uses the shield to place it down on zombies anyway, unless they're doing some kind of weird glitch. But no, there you go, dudes. The shield cannot be broken by the robot in Origins. And let's get on to the final myth of today's show and the final myth of today's show dudes has been sent in by jacob and he says in black ops 3 can you kill a margaret with the summoning key in revelations now dudes this is going to be amazing you guys know that on revelations we do get the summoning key for one step of the easter egg and in that step you can have margaret spawn in as well so luckily me and mr dalek jd got into a game and we're able to do this right now and see if we can use the summoning key to actually kill a margaret or just take one of its heads off i don't know let's check it out so here we go guys we are currently on revelations and we do have that summoning key as well we've also got a margaret inside of the starting area right now as well so here we go dudes let's see if we can kill a margaret with the summoning key are you ready three two one four. no dude his head might just not have been open so let's check again no dude i'm not getting any hit markers at all on that margaret dude and i'm so close to dying let's, let's just not even do this dude okay so i'm gonna say no we cannot kill a margaret with the summoning key inside of revelations but dudes thank you so much for watching episode 77 of myth busting mondays you guys are absolutely legendary and if you haven't done already make sure you do leave a comment inside of the comment section right now with whatever myth you want to have featured in next week's episode of myth busting mondays if you guys haven't already left a like as well make sure you do that we will aim for 3115 likes on this video you know how we do and if you are brand new to the channel make sure you do click that subscribe button and become the latest member of the pizza club thank you so much for watching dudes and peace out